everyone and welcome to another video. Welcome to another quick five. Quick five. Now, the five things that we're going to go ahead and cover today are the top five Chanel fragrances. Now, just a quick couple of rules before we go ahead and get started. The first one that we're going to touch upon is this is primarily from the designer side. Now, Chanel also has an exclusive line. I am purposely excluding those fragrances out of things. Two, this is more geared towards the men's side. So these fragrances are more geared towards men fragrances rather than uh, the Chanel female fragrances. Chanel has a ton of female fragrances and that deserves its own separate list. So those are the, really the caveats that I wanted to cover before we go ahead and get started, all right? So let's start off with number five, the fifth uh, fragrance that we have from the house of Chanel. We have Antaeus. Now, this fragrance has flown under the radar as far as Chanel fragrances go, but this is probably the strongest, most bold fragrance from the house of Chanel that I can think of. It is the Kouros of the Chanel line, if you will. It's strong, it's aggressive, it's something that comes out at you, and it really mixes well with the skin. Uh, it's a little bit harder to find, I will say that right off the bat, so if you're going to look for it, uh, be sure you be careful, especially when you look for it, because you may come across some fakes. So, but if you can get your hands on the genuine article, you will probably be pleasantly surprised, and it is there at number five. Number four, we have Platinum Egoist. Now, Platinum Egoist, from the house of Chanel, obviously, this fragrance is a clean, up-class version. It's the best classy fragrance from the house of Chanel that I think. Now, it's something that really comes across as dignified. You can put it on with a suit. You can put it on, you know, when you're going out to a special occasion, and it will do magically fine. I've gotten compliments along the lines of, wow, that is such an upscale fragrance. People who don't collect fragrances have said such things to me when I'm wearing that fragrance out. And I have heard similar success when other people wear Platinum Equally. So give it a try. It is the fourth best Chanel fragrance. Fragrance number three from the house of Chanel. We have Edition Blanche. Now, Edition Blanche, many of you know, is probably my favorite Chanel fragrance. Why is it number, not number one? Well, because in the grand scheme of things, yes, it does have some weaknesses. One, it doesn't really have the projection and the power that I would like from a fragrance if I was going to recommend it out to other people, but it's, this is no slouch. It still lasts a good like six hours, six plus hours on your skin, and more importantly, what it smells like. This is like a lemon cream pie made fragrance wise. It has just a really uplifting kind of scent. And this is one of my number one fragrances for the spring that I usually wear. It's absolutely fantastic in those regards and definitely a compliment getter and one that really cools you off when it feels nice and hot. So at number three, we've got Edition Blanche. Fragrance number two on the list, we have Allure Homme Sport. Now, Allure Homme Sport, this fragrance, highly regarded within the fragrance community, and it came out with a big bang. A lot of people were talking about it for the longest time, and then it sort of seemed that people kind of moved on from it. But you go back and you revisit it, and you realize just how great of a fragrance it actually is. It's got the projection, it's got the power, it's got tonka that makes it, gives it the sweetness, but at the same time, it's got the citrus that gives it this sporty kind of edge to it. It's such a fantastic fragrance that I still think gets overlooked, and I still think that it's the second best fragrance from the house of Chanel. So what do I think is the first best fragrance from Chanel? We've got Blue de Chanel. Now, Blue de Chanel is a fragrance that, when released, many people thought that it was really not much, right? Um, many people really thought that it was a generic fragrance, that it was something not really to write home about. I still agree that it is a generic fragrance, but as I've said time and time again, it is a keeper. It is a winner. It is a fragrance that you can wear in any scenario that you feel like. It will get you compliments left and right. It will last a good amount of time. And it's, it's just the ideal kind of fragrance. And I think it's the best offering that the, that's coming from the house of Chanel. Now, again, with those caveats that I put in the very beginning of the, get, of the video, Blue de Chanel really is a rock star, and I highly recommend that you go the legit route and purchase the one from like the department store or a known retailer. Why? Heavily faked. 
you can find fakes of this sucker everywhere. So just be very careful. Make sure that you're getting the genuine article when you purchase this one. So those are my top five Chanel fragrances, right? We've got Antaeus, we've got Egoist, we've got um, uh, Edition Blanche, we've got Allure Homme Sport, and finally, we've got Blue de Chanel, right? Let me know what your top five Chanel fragrances are in there. Um, I'm always curious, love to hear it, but that's pretty much my opinion. I want to do more houses going forward, so let me know what you guys think, all right? Thank you guys, take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.